Hello, I'm Apostle Patrick T. Randolph of Praise. And I'm Pamela Randolph. We just want to tell you a little bit about what's coming up, our Building Mega Wealth Conference with Apostle Rennie McLean. It's going to be an exciting time, Pamela, like the last time. Every time Apostle comes, the house is lit up with great revelation, and people's lives are being changed. And I'm looking forward to another session with him because, again, Apostle Rennie has so much revelation the Lord speaks to him. And it's like no other, really, to tell you the truth about it. And every time he has come to this ministry, his ministry has been increased. Yes, and he will be talking about mega wealth. I'm so excited about that. We've been talking about the mega all year, and now we're at the mega wealth. And I know that everyone who's listening to this will want to be at this Building Mega Wealth Conference, July 15th, 16th, and 17th with Apostle Rennie McLean. I want to see you in the house, and I want you to invite somebody else to come with you as well. Because the meeting is going to be a life-changing meeting. And, you know, all of us know that we need financial blessings in our lives. We need to increase. And this is an opportunity for you to get revelation, fresh revelation, from the living God through the Apostle Randy McLean. Well, you know, uh, God promised Abraham that he would make him uh, wealthy. He would make his name great. And that word great means mega. So I'm sure Apostle will, Randy will talk more about that at the Mega Wealth Conference, but we want to make sure that you're with us, that you invite others to join you and be a part of this great conference that's coming up July 15th, 16th, and 17th. And if you've never heard of Pastor Green, I tell you what, we're giving you an opportunity right now and you can listen to this clip and see what we're talking about. Preachers today better watch how you associate. I've had opportunities to meet political figures, and I said, no, I'm not going. They said, well, what are you going to do? I said, I'll send the word. Because the church puts its blessing on things that don't need to go near. Send the word! There is no such thing as there being faith without supernatural activity. That means if you have faith, there is supernatural activity taking place in your life whether you realize it or not can anybody here tell me what does water and wind have in common water has no form it has no shape neither does the wind when faith doesn't have a purpose, it has no shape. So you don't know, notice the expression, so you don't know what to expect. The reason why we cannot trust our eyes, number one, is because our vision, our ability to see in the natural is limited. If you put your faith in something that is limited you're gonna have disappointment you're gonna have disappointments. one of the greatest things that i've watched that has stunted the growth of god's people's faith is this word and when i say it to you no matter who you are it's going to hit you between your eyes is when you put your faith in your experience. In your experience. When Jesus healed people, he didn't heal everybody the same way. In other words, not even Jesus as a man camped in his own experience. And so that's why, remember I said now, if you put your faith in your experience, you're already out of tomorrow's economy you are not relevant your experience is no longer now now